hello uh, hi friends today we are going to see about dry state buffer um, so uh, you can see uh, in the picture uh, so this is the symbol of dry state buffer there are two inputs actually uh, a and uh, enable e and y is the output uh, you can uh, see the uh, truth table below uh, so whenever uh, the enable e is one um, so whatever the value present in the a will be assigned to uh, output y so whenever enable is zero independent uh, of the value of a output always will be remain as i i z so so now we are going to see how to implement this in the this in using verilog actually so uh, initially we need to declare the module uh, name actually tri state buffer and uh, we need to declare the input and output ports actually so in the tri state buffer we we already know that there are two inputs one is a and another one is enable and output is y actually so here uh, we are uh, going to see uh, how the conditional statement we can implement using the assign statement uh, that is uh, conditional statement uh, using data flow modeling actually so y equal to enable and uh, the, uh, if enable is one the value of a will be assigned to y uh, else uh, iz will be assigned to y actually so here uh, you can see the syntax of the um, uh, condition check here so enable and the question mark so uh, so if it is true we need to assign the value of a uh, else so to differentiate that we need to use colon actually so uh, in the else case we are assigning i evidence to the y actually so thanks for watching this video uh, i am planning to <coughs> Uh, put video regularly here after sorry for the delay um, so please subscribe and uh, follow my channel um, thanks